Welcome back to another Behind the Board Extra on Melodyne, the pitch correction software. Uh, we're going to work on some different stuff today. Uh, we worked on basically only pitch correction last time. I'm going to show you a few more things this program can do that is going to improve your vocal sound a lot. Uh, let's take a look at Twinkle, Melodyne, Basics, Separation, Detection, Modulation. Now it's a long title, but we're doing a lot this video. So let's double click that one and bring it up. Here we are. So let's uh, bring up our edit window, just like we did last time. Window, show editor. All right, as we're in play visible mode, all we have visible is our twinkle, our vocal. So that's all it will play back right now. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay. Now, if we went and brought in the piano as well, since both are visible, we have the piano in the orange now, since it's the highlighted track, and the vocal uh, in the yellow. Uh, they'll both play. Twinkle, twinkle. And that's how that works on play visible. Now let's go back to the vocal. Now, if we want to play selected and we have the vocal selected, it's, don't, it's just going to play the vocal back for us. Let's take a listen to that. Twinkle, twinkle. So that's the difference. Uh, we could also go to play arrangement, but since the entire arrangement is visible right now, uh, it's just going to play back the two tracks that are in the arrangement. So in play arrangement plays back the entire arrangement that's in Melodyne. Anything that you put in your tracks, even if it's not on the screen right now, will play back when you are on play arrangement. So here we are. Let's figure out what our first problem is. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, so we obviously have a problem there. The, the big problem here is that this is two different notes, and it got mashed together and was called one note by this program, and it's not one note. So we have to fix that right away. So what we need to do is right-click, go to our separation tool all the way to the right, and now we have it. Now, take a close look. We're going to zoom in here. Use these mountains in the bottom right corner to zoom in and out. Um, so one zooms horizontally, one zooms vertically. It's pretty self-explanatory once you go ahead and use it. Okay. So we see this line here. This line is the actual pitch that is being sang at every point. This blob here is the pitch that's most centered throughout the entire blob. So since it starts low, it goes high, uh, this is really the average pitch of it. But here's the actual pitch, so we'll follow that along and see where the note changed, and it's right here. Uh, because it dropped from here all the way down to here. Uh, so let's make our cut there. Perfect. Oh, twinkle, little star. All right, now we have our notes separated, but we do not have them uh, on the right notes. So this one's an A sharp, it's supposed to be an A. G sharp's supposed to be a G. So back to the basics, and we're going to right click and go over to edit pitch and bring them down to their correct notes. And now we can use our alt option click or our double click to get them right to the center and take another listen. Twinkle, little star. Perfect. Uh, so let's take a look from there, see what our next problem is. Now I wonder what you are. So there's our problem. There's a timing issue there. It's a, it's a bad timing issue. Take one more listen. How I wonder what All right. So these timing issues happen a lot and they can be frustrating, but we can fix them fairly easily in this program. All we need to do is right click. We go over to move notes and now the same way we did our option or alt click drag that we were doing to move the notes up and down we could use that to move the notes sideways time stretch them and uh, time condense them so we're going to condense the time of the note right here because that just went on too long so let's click our alt or option button uh, and start moving it Back this way. How I wonder what... So that fixed it, but what really happened here? 
we went to the part we knew it was too long so we went to the end of it now if i went to the front of it and tried to do the same thing i just made it longer that's not what we want so we want to go to the end of it hit our alt option button click it and drag back to the left we get the time just where the piano is how i wonder what you are fantastic let's take this section and we'll do what we did at the end of last video we'll go up to our edit correct pitch and we'll correct this area i'm gonna pull down a little bit on both of these keep it a little more natural again you can go ahead and do what you feel is right when you're listening you gotta trust yourself a bit twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are all right so this note that we just fixed was closer to a b than it was a c and c was a correct note so we need to go ahead and move that one too we'll right click we'll go to edit pitch and we'll bring it up what you are. fantastic let's go to the next issue up above the world so okay so this is a pretty bad one uh, sometimes this program especially when the vocalist has kind of a, a dirty style a gritty voice will go ahead and take your your uh, vocal sound take the note and think that it's actually one octave down from where it is this is a detection problem it's detecting it improperly but luckily the program has a way to fix that we go over to definition and correct detection now everything changes color and we see that this guy down here shouldn't be down here let's bring him back up this guy over here shouldn't be down here let's bring him back up and they drop them right where they're supposed to be because um, they detected them one octave down they put them we push them around the one octave up point and just locked it in where it's supposed to be now to get out of this menu let's do our right click and we'll click our uh, edit pitch that's the next thing we'll be doing so we could tell already that these notes are flat they're lower than the piano so let's move them both up and listen back up above the world so high perfect so we fixed that up real good let's just go through this section maybe we'll double click this section fix it that way just get used to using all these different ways to go ahead and lock in your different pitch corrections so let's uh, take it from there see what our next problem is like a diamond in the sky all right so she didn't sing it like this i'll be honest with you <laughs> no one really sings like this but uh, i messed with the vibrato of her vocal the modulation of it and it's overly modulated people don't really sound like that but <clears throat> i want to show you how you can fix anyone who has a little too much vibrato and they want you to bring the vibrato out you use your modulation tool let's right click and get to that so it's under our edit pitch pitch modulation now we have that uh, so we'll go over to the area that we want to modulate the pitch back down let's just uh, grab one at a time for now hit our alt option click so up would make the pitch modulation more down would make the pitch modulation less which is what we need to do because it is modulated way too much and uh, what we want to do is kind of make that line that line that tells us where the pitch is at all times kind of hit the middle you want it to be near the middle of the note it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but you want it very close like a... okay so like sounds good let's fix uh like a diamond. great so you don't want to overdo this either so if i were to take this these two just highlight both of them and overuse this i'll grab it i'll drag it down and I'll just flatten it. Diamond. All right, so now this sounds a bit computerized to me. This is, sounds like an auto-tune effect or something when you get to that point. So it's absolutely flat. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing human about it. Diamond. So no vibrato, no anything. You don't want to go that far. Um, so let's pull that back. Let's drag it again, and we'll just go up with it a little. So it has some sort of vibrato. There's up and down on it. Like a diamond in the sky. All right. 
in the sky. Let's drag all of that. Alt option, click it. Start dragging down. There's too much vibrato everywhere. Now there's less. Let's take a listen. Diamond in the sky. Perfect. Let's take that section. Uh, we'll go to right click, edit pitch. Hit our alt option button. And just drag everything where it should be. All right, now to the last section. Let's see what type of issues we have here. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Surprise, surprise, we have every problem that we dealt with so far in the same area. So let's fix that up. And all the problems are right here. How I wonder what so how I wonder look like they're two different notes for one. They are uh, way off time. They're way too long. And uh, they seem like they're off pitch. Uh, they're definitely modulated too much. You can see the modulation going nuts. This is where the pitches are going. It's, it's insane. Uh, so let's fix the time first. I think that's the most important. After that, we could figure out the pitch and the modulation. So we'll right click. We'll go over to move notes. We'll hit our alt option at the end of this note because it's too long and we want to make it shorter. We'll click and we'll start dragging it back. Let's see if the timing sounds right to us. How I wonder what Close. We should pull back a little bit more. How I wonder Maybe a little less. A lot of this is guess and check. So get it to the point where you think, hey, it sounds good. How I wonder what you Great. Second thing, let's mess with this modulation. This modulation is out of control. So right click, we go to our edit pitch and down one to pitch modulation. Our alt option button, click in, start pulling it down, making it more normal. There we go. How I wonder what you are. And now we can see we're actually still a little off in that timing. So I'm going to go do the timing one more time. Just follow along. If you're off, either way, just take a look, see how it's done. Go to the move notes, alt option, grab it, and pull it back. I wonder what you are. Sounding pretty good to me. Uh, now, like I said before, these lines are where the pitch actually is. So this note is a bit sharp for the F that it is. And this note is absolutely flat for the F line that it's on. So we want to separate them because they are two different notes. So let's right click. We'll go to our note separator. Uh, we can see where the note just drops off. Right here is where it really does its drop. You have a small drop here. Uh, that's just where a breath looks like it's going. But right here it's doing a drop to another note. So let's double click right around there. Okay. And now you can see that this one is showing its true colors now. It's a little too high, and this one is also a little too high for its note. So let's go through this section and do our pitch correction to the whole area like we did uh, the first time. And then we'll go to edit, and then we'll go to correct pitch. Perfect. Uh, we have it set. This Melodyne remembers your last pitch correction. Uh, uh, settings and just gives it to you every time. So you'll have to change it if you wanted to go ahead and crank this to 100. You'll have to do that. It won't just default at 100 anymore uh, because you told it not to. So we'll crank this one to 100 so you can hear it. Okay, that. And let's see what we got here. A twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Fantastic. So we went over a lot in that video, and I'd expect you to practice this over and over because these things are going to come back, and they will get more complicated, they will get more difficult, um, but they will be this every time. It will be these tools, and it'll be the way I just showed you how to do it, even on your more complicated projects. You're just going to have to really, really dig in. Uh, so learn this. Go over it over and over again so that when we get to the parts where we're giving you real songs from real artists that you're not uncomfortable. This, this is the basics, and this is going to be... Uh, what really guides you through all the real artists. All right, so thanks for being with me, and uh, look out for the next one.